give me water. Bring it up from the ground, cool clean okay. water. Hi, I'm Jim Blair, president of Bee Cave Drilling. One of the most common ways that pumps are damaged is letting the pump run without water. This may be happening in your well, and you may not know it. Today I want to talk to you about pump savers and how they can protect your well system from damage that's caused by running out of water, low voltage, and rapid cycling. When the pump is running, the water that goes through it is not only lubricating the pump, but it's also cooling the pump. I have a little piece of pipe here with me that's been damaged by the pump getting hot. The pump ran without water, and the water inside this pipe was so hot that it melted this pipe and it caused it to swell out. Eventually the pump fell off the bottom because it messed up the threads. This kind of damage is also happening inside the pump, melting the impellers. It's also happening outside the pump. If you've got PVC casing, it could be melting your casing. Have you ever taken some plastic and heated it up? You see how it just kind of shrinks around things? Well, you don't want to get your pump heat shrunk to your casing. Usually that means the drilling rig's coming back out, drill your new well, and that's expensive. So today, we want to talk to you about pump savers and how we can protect your pump, your drop pipe, and your casing. Let's go inside the pump house and see how it works. So here we have our pump saver. All the electricity that's going to the pump is running through the pump saver. You can see it's connected right here. When we set this system up, we calibrate it. We tell it what the normal amperage and normal voltage should be for this pump. For the rest of the life of the pump, it's monitoring that and it will shut the pump off if the voltage or amperage fluctuates by 15% from when we calibrated it. If the pump runs out of water, it's going to drop about 20 to 25% of its amps. Pump saver senses that, shuts it off. It's got a little timer built in up here. We can adjust that timer for how long we want it to stay off, and it automatically restarts it after delay. It does the same thing for the voltage. If you get a low power, it starts to uh, have a brownout where it might damage the pump. Pump saver cuts it off, waits until the power is normal, and then turns the pump back on and lets it run as long as the power is normal. One of the neat things about the pump saver is this device called an informer. It's like a remote control. We can point it at the pump saver and it'll tell us the current conditions and the history. It'll tell us the last 20 fault conditions, the low amperage, the high amperage, the high voltage, low voltage, any kind of rapid cycling. It'll show us what's been going on with this pump. So we get a little bit more information. If you're interested in learning how pump savers can protect your well system, give us a call and we'd be glad to come out and answer any questions. Give me water. Bring it up from the ground. Cool, clean water. There's enough to go around. Be cave driven. Give me water. Be cave driven. Give me water. Call B Cave Drilling now for a free estimate. Give me water.